One of my favorite videos that we have put out on the YouTube channel over the last couple of years is around the idea of essentialism. Now, essentialism is a book that Peter McCown wrote. Fantastic book, but when I say essentialism, I'm not actually referring to that book or the concept with it. I'm talking about more about the idea of essentialism and just distilling in our life the things that are most meaningful and that will actually move the needle towards our goals. That's really what I meant by essentialism. And in that video, I shared six concepts from essentialism that I found very valuable. I haven't gone back and looked at that video in a, in a hot minute, but the other day somebody left a comment on the video and uh, it, re it regurgitated an idea from in the video back to me that I hadn't thought about in a while. And I wanted to share it with you because it's a really fun concept. It's one that I find a lot of power in. See, often we confuse the idea of being busy with being productive. We, we know this, right? Where it's like our calendars are filled up and we're just so busy jam packed with things. But when we look at how much motion we have versus how much momentum or how much progress we make, often we have much more motion than we have progress. And so we're not actually being effective with our time and our energy. And the true mark of like effectiveness is not based on how much you do, it's based off of what you do. And that is really the core of essentialism is to focus on the things that actually matter to move you towards your goals. And the concept that I talked about in that video was this thing called watering fake plants, where a, a lot of times in our life, we are doing really meaningless, pointless stuff that fills our calendar and makes us feel busy, but that is ultimately useless and doesn't move us towards our goals. This is what I refer to as watering fake plants. And one of the things about watering fake plants, is not just that you are doing a pointless activity that is not going to actually move you towards your goal, but in the process of doing that thing, you're saying no to another thing. And the no that you're probably saying no to is watering the actual plant that needs water. <laughs> Right, the living plant, the thing that actually would move you towards your goal is being neglected, is being starved, being you know, uh, desiccated. Is that the word? Yeah, desiccated, when you run out of water, right? That's a good thing, that's a good word. Um, so this idea of what are the fake plants that I am watering in my life that I need to cut out? And God, there are things in all of our lives that we are, we are guilty of this. I'm sure that there are fake plants in your life that you're watering right now that if you really need to look at it and you say, is this, truly moving me towards my goal? Is this actually helping me or is this a thing that I'm doing to make myself feel better? And a perfect case in point of this, watering a fake plant. A couple months back, I get a, a DM from this kid, slides into my DM. And he is so psyched, he is so proud of me. He's like, Anthony, dude, I gotta tell you, I just checked off one of my month goals, boom. And he's like, I have three goals for the month, I just checked off one of them, this is in the month of November. I was like, hot damn, dude, that's awesome. What was the goal? And he sends me a screenshot of his phone and on his phone, it's his background, right? And there's there's these pictures. It's like a vision board on his phone. It's like there's these fancy cars and fancy watches and like these dollar signs, all this stuff, right? That all the things that you expect a young gentleman to be like pursuing and thinking like, that's what I want for my life. And in the middle, there's the words monthly goals. And then underneath of that, there's three goals listed. One of them is scratched out. So that must be the goal that he is so psyched that he has he has done. And I'm like, okay, what is this goal? And the goal reads something to the effect of complete phone background vision board. And I was like, wait a minute, was your goal for the month to create this background on your phone? The vision board with the picture, with the, the money signs and the, the fancy car and the fancy watch, all that, that was the goal? And then you, okay. And so I asked him, I was like, is this moving you towards your goals? I was like, why did you, why did, why was this your goal in particular? He's like, well, every time I pull up my phone, now I see that and I'm motivated. I remember my goals. And I'm like, dude, I don't know if I've ever failed to, to achieve one of my goals because I forgot what the goal was. That's never happened. No, the reason I haven't achieved my goals in the past is because I wasn't doing and taking the right actions that would move me towards my goals, right? It's not that you've forgotten. If you did forget what the goal was, it probably wasn't a very good, meaningful goal in the first place. So it's probably best forgotten, right? So I was like sitting here, I'm like, dude, this isn't moving you towards your goals. If your goal is to have a fancy watch, have the fancy car, have the money, all that stuff, like this isn't it. This isn't doing it. You just watered a fake plant, my bro. Like that's not the game. You gotta go do things that are like adding value to people's life, delivering that value in exchange for money. That's, that's how you get those things. And so it was just such a great example of this concept of, fake, of watering fake plants where we do things, we create these really elaborate systems and processes. 
I am so guilty of this, where I create these elaborate technological solutions with Asana and with Notion. I'm like, this is the thing that's gonna make me so damn productive. And I spend all my time and energy building out this complicated system that I then never use. Guilty as charged. I know I'm not the only one that's done that. So I just wanted to share this concept with you. Audit your life right now. Take a moment, reflect. What are you doing that is, in, in the grand scheme of things, a complete waste of time? What are the fake plants that you're watering that you need to just let let be, they don't need water, they're fine, it's fake. <laughs> I don't know how else to put this, but that concept is a lot of fun. It gives me, it gives me um, a new frame to look at the things that I'm doing with my life and in a playful way say, stop that, knock that off. And that is one, stop watering your fake plants, people. All right, that's gonna do it for me. I'll catch you in the next episode.